Hello Stratters, welcome back. I'm Binky B and this will be the third match with August playing Maga Traitor to Bor Mortals and he's going up against me playing Sudri. I was so happy building this deck, I think it worked really well. Um, I didn't have all the cards that I wanted uh, so it wasn't the, the exact build that I was um, was aiming for but I mean what can you do right I'm playing because it's fun and uh, I had like 96% of the cards or something so I think that's fine fair enough so um, I was kinda pleased with this matchup because I knew that August had like a billion removal spells and I have two creatures in my deck I have a Baleful Strix and a Trinket Mage that's it I also have my commander obviously but uh, I mean, I, I don't care about removal spells at all. So, my hand was kind of sketchy here, but I was hoping that this ponder could um, could uh, help me out. And um, if I recall correctly, it was a pretty good ponder. So, yeah. <sighs> so, the main idea with this deck is to produce a bunch of mana fast with signets and mox opals and stuff. And either combine Sidri with liquid liquid metal coating or um, uh, Sword of the Meek plus Thop the Foundry. And you have Tinker to find it, you have Transmute Artifact, you have um, Enlightened Tutor, you have a bunch of Cardro spells and Filter spells. I mean, it's, n it's not hard to find the pieces. That, that's easy. Uh, so... <coughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Executioner's Capsule here uh, and the Marsh Flats, and I mean this is not a good uh, a good card against Mono Black. I don't think I have a single target. Uh, maybe like if he runs a Phyrexian Revoker main, does Executioner's Capsule even take artifact creatures? Anyway, I I kind of had to play it because um, I wanted the Metal Craft, so. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I was trying to go for that. So here I have a very tough decision because I have a tutor in hand, I believe. So I can go for the coating and um, set up uh, the Sidri combo next turn. But that's the weaker combo, I believe, against Mono Black. So it's, it's uh, kind of sketchy, but uh, I decided to go for it because if it works, I'm going to win the, win the, uh, the match. And uh, I, I do firmly believe that that's a good thing. So I go for the coating. Uh, yeah, Executioner's Capsule does take um, artifact creatures. So I go for the coating and put it on top. So I'm going to draw that. And uh, that means that uh, I can. Uh, I can do basically what I need to do this turn and then play Sidri on the following turn. And I do mess up a little bit, but that's fine. August only playing the Pains here. It doesn't bother me too much because it's another turn before it actually does anything. So that's that's fine by me. Uh, what worries me is that he has a bunch of cards in hand. But uh, as it turns out, when I calculate a bit, I'm going to be able to play Sidri next turn and then Sudra again even if it dies so it's gonna eat at least a removal spell in two lands uh, which I find uh, which I find to be a serviceable um, serviceable line so August goes for another swarm which I'm fine with I mean he doesn't want to expose cabal coffers and uh, I'm not certain that he knows about the combo so he's gonna play pack rats and pass and uh, I'm not that afraid of pack rats because if you're gonna throw cards away and lose lands, pack rats is not that great. So I'm gonna end up turn smother the pains here. Could have done it combat, but I did not want to do that. So here, what you should do obviously is to use the coating first and then play Sidri because otherwise um, uh, you could actually uh, uh, respond to the coating. Uh, activation by killing Sidri. So I'm gonna make the swamp an artifact and August is still not 
<laughs> he's still not really into what I'm trying to do, but I think the light is going up for him right now. <laughs> that Suru will be able to destroy lands. Since Suru turns a non-creature artifact into a creature with his base power and toughness equal to its mana cost and the land, as you all know, has zero mana cost. So I'm gonna destroy his swamp and pass the turn back. So now, if I had like a mental misstep or uh, maybe a spell snare, depending on what removal August has, that would be so good, but I do not. So, I believe that's a smother. And here I might as well make my capsule into um, to an artifact before Sidra dies. Because I don't think August will burn a removal on it, <laughs> just to get in for a point. And if he attacks, I'm happy to trade. Because my last card in hand is a land, I believe. So, I'm pretty low on resources, but as I said, uh, Sudri could uh, easily take over this game. So once again, I don't do it in the correct order, and I, I'm so frustrated right now because I figured it out both times, but yeah. So Swamp down. Uh, and my plan is working fairly well, but I've drawn so many lands. Uh, but, but yeah, so... Depending on what August has here, it will inform my decision next turn. Should I try to wait on Sidri for one more turn? Or should I um, just play it next turn again if it dies? So August has drawn a fair amount of lands and removal, which is to be expected. And here he goes for, I believe, an innocent blood? No, an inquisition. And I just drawn mental misstep, obviously. So that would have been uh, a perfect answer to uh, the... Um, uh, Innocent Blood, but uh, of course no. So, since Innocent Blood is August uh, card, I just assume that he has no more removal, so... Uh, I can just play... Uh, I can just play Syria. Since I drew the land, I, I might just... I might, might as well just play it, because I don't have anything else to do. So now, August has one turn to top deck a removal, or he will lose lands, and he draws Geth's Verdict. Oh, the joy. <laughs> so, as I said, I don't mind removals at all, but uh, when I use draw lands and uh, try to use my commander, removals are pretty pretty poor. So here comes Cable Coffers, and now I know that I'm on a very fast clock. And I draw my alternate wing condition, which is a Sands of Delirium. And I'm kind of hoping here that August is out of lands, because... Uh, I mean, how many lands could a man draw? Uh, I mean, he has drawn a bunch of removal spells, a couple of threats and lands, so... Hopefully he's, he doesn't have that much. If I had, like, an Academy Rune here, I would probably go for... Uh, for Sansing myself, but I don't, so... And here comes Vesuva copying Cabal Coffers. Great, because now all he needs is an Urborg, and he can make, like, a billion mana. Um, Right now he can make uh, four mana, yeah, so it's not that great. So I know that I probably have... If August does not have uh, Urborg, I think I'm in pretty good shape. So milling a couple of stuff here. Milling the Ratchet Bomb is good because now um, I don't think he has any way to interact with my stuff. So, I think he drew another land here, maybe. Because I have no incentive to keep lands in hand now, when I have Sense of Delirium. Because if we are in a race, um, a land could actually make a pretty big difference. So, if August does not have Urborg, uh, his Cabal Corpus isn't that great. It's uh, two, uh, one extra mana right now. So I had a Godless Shrine, but I played it tap because um, the one extra card this turn, yeah, and it drew Urborg, obviously. So yeah, now I know I'm just 
dead. I mean, I could draw a removal spell or something to to my maybe buy myself another turn, and I could still draw my combo. If I can find uh, Thopter sort of the meek combo, the combo, then I'm in good shape. Also, I played land because um, it's, I'm not too far off playing Sidri again. So, so now Urborg, what do we have? Six swamps, so four. Uh, ten, yeah, it's um, thirteen mana, I believe, or something like that. So I'm dead to Maga next turn, but I can mill for seven, I think. Consume Spirit would have been a kill, so that's great. And some stuff. Not too many good cards, but uh, it's, it's okay. And I could still. Uh, uh, try to like animate uh, something if I can find more mana for Sidri. I'm not sure. I have eight now. Yeah, then I, then that will be hard. For example, Ancient Tomb would have been a good card for this deck that I did not have access to at the time. Seed of Traitors too would have been pretty nice. Just being able to combo off earlier is is good. Looks like I did find something at least. And I'm trying to counter if I can stall this out another turn and uh, mill twice, do I win? But I think I end up mana short or something like that. I do have a Demir Signet and he's past the turn, and I mean. It's kind of over. Uh, oh, obviously I, it was not big enough. Takes me to like one or... Oh yeah, August had Blighted Fen as well, so he's gonna, he's gonna sack uh, Maga and recast it and that will be the end of me. So I go down and uh, we're gonna go to game number two. Back for the second game then. Uh, a good roll for the black uh, black player, I have to say, and a pretty poor from my part. But that's just how it is sometimes. A bit flooded and a bit light on action versus uh, the very solid combination: Cabal Coffers, uh, Urborg, and Maga Traitor to Mortals. We'll finish you off fast and uh, reliable uh, without a problem. So here we have a preordain, and I'm going to scribe both to the bottom because I have a bunch of lands and I do not need more. Uh, I even decided to go uh, tapped Hallowed Fountain turn one because this is not about speed. My hand was not this. Uh, my draw was not such that I would win on speed, so I'd rather preserve my life and uh, get some more information. Uh, but I'm a bit worried because my hand is pretty heavy on lands already, so um, uh, that could be that could be a problem uh, if I don't uh, if I don't get something going. And I'm still very confident in winning if I can assemble Thopter Foundry Sword of the Meek because Mono Black does not have much against that. So I'm just gonna pass here. The pains here does not uh, bother me too much. Two damage is fine. Uh, and extra cards is not super important either. I mean, if my opponent gets to draw a card or two, it's 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 fine, I suppose. Uh, I have a transmute artifact in hand, so I have one piece of one of the combos if I want to. So. I just have to uh, decide what I want to go for. I I also have to assume that August does not keep uh, that much removal in, because he knows that I barely have any creatures. But that's the, the the beauty of making decks like the one I'm playing now. You you only have one creature in the entire deck that the opponent cares about. Uh, only one target that actually 
makes you want to use <laughs> a removal spell. But if you can't kill it, then you're going to lose. So you have to keep in a decent amount of removals. So I'm hoping to... Uh, to strand a lot of dead cards in August Hand if possible. You could also play something like a key, Voltaic key, in the deck to uh, to combo faster. Not in the sense that you can go off earlier, but you can go off bigger, destroying two lands a turn if you have mana for it, which could be interesting as well. So my hand right now is Transmute Artifact lands, I believe a crucible of worlds, uh, and that's basically it. I, I don't think I can kill pains here. I'm playing an academy runes, then I probably can do something. Okay, so I have the coating. I'm gonna pass here and August gonna untap. So he did not play anything on his turn, which I'm fine with. He thinks I have a count spell, maybe. And uh, he does not announce the trigger for Pains here. And uh, had this been a regular match outside the camera, I would just have allowed him to reveal the card and uh, just continue. But since this is actually being recorded and uh, it's going up on the on the internet, I think you should... Uh, be a bit more strict here and he did shuffle around the cards in his hand a bit so I cannot be certain that the card he's showing me is the one that he should have revealed. I do trust my opponent here so it's not that but I think you should be a bit more um, uh, strict there. So he drew and played a Python Needle which still I'm fine with I played a coating, not... I mean, if I got the chance I would use it, uh, if not then it's fine. And uh, Needle will name Sudri, so I have no incentive to play it, I can do that later on. Uh, when I kill a Needle, if I want to. So my hand is still garbage, it's a lands and uh, one transmute artifact. So here I could I could do something like turn a land into an artifact with the coating and then transmute it to go grab a combo piece. The thing is that that is very mana inefficient and uh, resource consuming. So um, I don't really like that too much. Uh, but I still believe I go for the transmute, yeah. So this is a bit uh, different than Tinker because you don't sacrifice the artifact right away. So your opponent has to say, okay, it resolves, then you sacrifice something, uh, search an art for an artifact, and then if you want to, you can pay the difference in the mana cost, otherwise they go to the graveyard, both of the artifacts. So uh, I end up sacrificing my Seed of the Synod so I can go grab... Uh, uh, I can I can grab any artifact because I have three mana uh, mana left. So the bad thing is that I don't have time to sit around and wait. Uh, I have to do something now, so I'm gonna go grab Thop the Foundry. And since Needle is gone, uh, uh, the the door is open for Thop the Foundry to be a thing. That's uh, um, one of the main reason I even play the liquid metal coating without having anything to back it up uh, so that I would incent August to to take care of it. So now it, it's not looking too bad because if I can just find Tinker or Enlightened Tutor or uh, just the sword uh, without, without anything or get it milled or something I could get uh, the top the combo going, and I think that would just wreck uh, August, unless he can kill me with a one-hit KO from a Maga trigger. So in comes the pains here. It's fine. I mean, I could do something crazy and try to block it or whatever, but here comes a hanger back for two, which is 
uh, annoying, but not the end of the world. So I'm gonna take a draw, and my hand is still not improving, but it, I still think I still think I'm fine as long as I can buy myself time to um, to com uh, get the combo together. I think I will be fine. So I'm gonna go with a black sun in it for two, no, for three even. Uh, and I can use my flooded strand for mana since August has Urborg in play. So yeah, be gone, stupid things, and uh, I mean I did not have to use uh, use it for one extra, but I mean if August has uh, something that pumps one or whatever. That could be annoying, so might as well do it for one extra. So yeah, now I'm feeling pretty good because uh, I bought myself a good amount of time. At least that's what it looks like. I know August has uh, the shade in hand, but I mean that has to be okay. I also assume that he has at least one dead removal spell in hand. So profane command for three, getting back pains here and nugging me, which is annoying, but still fine. I could sack flooded strand here, but there is no real reason to thin the deck um, further. I'd rather sacrifice it. Um, oh, I have all my. Uh, dual so yeah so now I can start getting lands back and I already have a fetch in place so I might as well um, get seed of the synod and I've drawn a courier's capsule the joy now well my hand is only lands so it's not that great but I still have the courier's capsule which is good so pains here comes in puts me to 13 that's fine August is still looking at a big hand but if the if the profane command was the best thing he could offer last turn, I'm not too worried. So I get to untap. I have a uh, lots of mana now uh, and more artifacts that provides me even more mana. I could play Sidri as a blocker, but uh, that's fine. I still have Academy Runes as well, so I'm just gonna draw two extra cards. And uh, I'm just gonna feast my eye upon even more lands. Pretty annoying, I have to say. Uh, flooding is always the worst because it feels like you should have a good, uh, a good chance, but you you just don't. So now I can sack like Crucible and Seed of the Synod, or make a land into an artifact and sacrifice it to. Um, to use uh, Thop the Foundry if I want to. Uh, that might be a thing. So in comes Shade and uh, Pains here, and now I'm getting a bit weird because if he has like Cabal Coffers, I'm dead next turn. So I don't like that. So I think I have to do something. The good thing is that I can make one token, and uh, if August doesn't crack Ratchet Bomb, well, then I can block. Uh, and if it cracks Ratchet Bomb, I can make another token and block, so it's fine. But I do do think I have to do some blocking here, because as I said, if I just draw Sword of the Meek, I think there is no way I can lose, because even if Ratchet Bomb is going to go off in two turns, killing both things, that's fine. That That doesn't bother me at all. So um yeah it's it's not looking too great but uh, but I still think I can manage to win here if uh, if I if I uh, can draw something great and I do have like five cards in hand so uh, in the end I decided not to block uh I I I I think that I I actually needed to to get lucky here anyway, so I'm gonna go for the double fetch. 
Uh, as I said, thinning is not super relevant, but at this point I only have lands in hand. I have like four lands, and uh, I just don't have that many lands left in the deck, so it would be nice to not flood out two games in a row, but we will see. A good draw step could be could be a thing. And as you see, I have only lands. <laughs> and that will do it. I will lose two games to zero. Thanks for watching, I'll bring you the final match right away. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.